Number 17, 3x times 2x squared plus 4x times 3x times x. Well, there are two terms here. We're going to start by simplifying each term. So let's look at this one first, 3x times 2x squared. Rearrange all these little pieces in your head. Think of 3 times 2, that gives you a 6, and then think of the x times the x squared, that gives you x cubed. So this first term is equivalent to 6x cubed. And then we have plus this next term, so plus, and let's simplify this now. Take the 4 times the 3, those multiplied together, everything there is multiplied, so the 4 times the 3 is a 12, and then we have x times x times x, that's x cubed. Now look at these two terms, 6x cubed plus 12x cubed, those terms have exactly the same variable part, they're both x cubed terms, so they can be combined. 6x cubed plus 12x cubed is 18x cubed. And number 18. Again, we have two things. We're going to simplify each one first and then combine them. To simplify each of these, we need to distribute. This is 3 times 2x minus y, so the 3 gets multiplied by the 2x and by this minus y. So this first term becomes, we'll do 3 times 2x, that's 6x minus 3 times y. So 6x minus 3y. Now this next part is a little bit tricky. We have this minus 4 times 3x plus 2y. This 4 is going to get distributed, but don't forget that that 4 is negative. It's really the negative 4 that gets multiplied by the 3x and then by the 2y. So negative 4 times 3x is negative 12x and then the negative 4 times the 2y is negative 8y. We've basically taken this expression and rewritten it with another expression that's mathematically equivalent, but it's a little bit simpler. We're not quite done yet though, we need to take our 6x and the negative 12x and combine those. 6x and negative 12x combines to give us a negative 6x, so that's, those two terms are now taken care of. Now we need to combine the negative 3y and the negative 8y, and those combine to give us a negative 11y, and that's the answer, negative 6x minus 11y.